In the Qing Dynasty, the imperial selection was held about eighty times. Through this selection, the emperor either chose the imperial women for himself, or chose wives and concubines for important royal clan members, like the son of the emperor. In previous videos, I mentioned. In Qing Dynasty, when the eight banner girls turned thirteen years old, they must participate in the imperial selection. This is not very accurate in Ho Qing Dynasty. So in this video, I will give you details about the imperial selection candidates at different times. Of the Qing Dynasty, during the Ho Qing Dynasty, only eight banner girls were allowed to participate in the imperial selection. Before Qianlong's time, no matter where the banner girls lived, they must come to the Forbidden City to participate in the selection, or they were not allowed to get married. Starting in Qianlong's time, the number of imperial selection candidates became smaller and smaller. In 1743, the eighth year of Qianlong's time, the banner girls who lived outside the capital area were not required to participate in the imperial selection, but. For the girls whose father was government officer below certain level, they still needed to participate in the selection. Qianlong explained this change as long distance travel was too hard for most girls. This is true. At that time, the car, the train, and the airplane. Didn't be invented yet. Lots of girls needed to spend very long time to arrive Beijing. During this time, many girls were sick and had to wait another three years. In Jiaqing and Daoguang's time, only the banner girls who lived in the capital area, and Their fathers were a middle and above level of government officer, were allowed to participate in the selection. In Guangxu's time, the imperial selection candidates must live in the capital, and their father should have middle and above government officer positions. In here, understanding Liu. As the resident is more accurate, in ancient time, people were not allowed to freely relocate. So in Qing Dynasty, use the word "liu" to represent the meaning of the resident is no problem. For example, Guangxu's consort Zhen grew up in Guangzhou. She didn't physically live in Beijing, but She was Beijing's resident. Now let's give you some numbers, then you can see this change clearly. In 1795, the sixth year, the sixtieth year of Qianlong's time, about eight thousand girls participated in the imperial selection. In 1886, the twelfth year of Guangxu's time. Ninety-seven girls participated in the imperial selection. Well, eleven years later, only one girl was qualified to participate the selection, and the Qing government had to temporarily change the rule, so more girls could participate in the selection. I remember some of my audience are curious, 
Why? 同志男的光绪 didn't have many imperial women. I think one reason was the number of imperial selection candidates significantly decreased. I mean, compared with the early Qing Dynasty and Qianlong's time. Besides, Tongzhi and Guangxu got married late and passed away at young age. Tongzhi got married in September 1872. His empress and four imperial women were selected in early 1872. The next imperial selection. Should be held in 1875. Unfortunately, Tongzhi passed away in January 1875. Guangxu got married in 1888 and was put under home arrest in 1898. During those ten years, there were only three imperial selection. Only a few girls participated in those selections. Considering other royal clan members also need to get married, and Guangxu didn't have a good relationship with his empress, who is Cixi's niece, I don't think Cixi allowed Guangxu to get more imperial women. Thank you for watching this.